What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Jujutsu Kaisen Phantom Parade video. Alright guys, we have ourselves a brand new beginner's guide. Uh, first off, shout out to these people who made this. I don't know who the author is, if you guys are the author of this, please let me know in the comment section. I will more than happily credit you. This has actually been linked to me through my Discord, so shout out to the folks in my Discord. You guys can see here, actually there's a couple different things here. I, maybe let's see if there's anyone that is mentioned. Uh, English Community Resources, Phantom Parade Discord, oh, here you go, Phantom Parade Discord, the fan, uh, Fandom Wiki, the Card Character and Card Memory, and then there's a couple Japanese resources as well, uh, Game 8, App Media, Ultima, Game With, and Kami Game, uh, Kami Game. So, this is a full walkthrough, essentially, of the entire game, how to download the JP version, uh, so you guys can take a look at that as well, too, in case you want to start playing a little bit earlier before November 7th, uh, this is how to add a phone number essentially how to download it from the Apple Store, uh, how to run an emulator on your PC, whether you want to do LD Player, BlueStacks, or Big Knox. Uh, so this, this part here is a big portion of people who want to play the game now rather than wait. Just remember, your Japanese information will not scrape over to your English information, so keep that in mind when you are making this JP account. You will not be able to play this on your global version, okay? But if you want to get ahead of the game a little bit and kind of feel the game out and see if it's for you, this is a great way to do so. I currently have a Japanese account, and I will be doing another beginner's guide after this using another individual's account who they let me use, and they have an end game account, so we'll go over that in the future, okay? So I want to go over this because I think this is very important a couple things to note as well to make sure if you are using the vpns there's a couple vpns here that are recommended uh that are open client etc that you can use right away keep in mind open client you also have a chance of getting other things so just be very cautious of that i don't want people just you know using whatever's on here and then getting some problems but you have the opportunity to play the game now and do a couple different things all right so uh number one let's start off with the friend code okay where can i find my friend code uh click on the menu button four square button then on profile second row second button your friend code is a serial code made out of random roman letters click on the little uh, copy icon and then you can copy it and how do i add a friend so you open the menu tab tap the second button the first row to open the menu and then you put the follow and then put in your request you can add friends there that way as well okay so here's how it works we're going to go through the basic stuff for you guys in jujutsu kaisen okay so you guys can understand what to look forward to and what you should be doing um so first off player rank what is player rank so why increase player ranks by raising your character level you get increased ap ap's your stamina system action points essentially right increase ca uh, character memory level caps and also increase overall stats of your character overall you will need to increase your level to overcome difficult quests pretty straightforward that's your account leveling up very easy to do how do you increase your player uh, ranking by clearing all types of quests that consume ap basically by consuming one stamina you get one player rank exp this includes story quest enhancement quest cursed items uh event quest the most effective way of leveling player rank is by clean the, completing the highest difficulty quests that are available to you okay so just make sure you see that action points what are action points essentially your stamina by increasing player ranking each player increases their ap limit by 10 you guys can see here ap limit reaches maximum of 200 when you each player when the when the when you reach 200 or sorry when you reach player 20 uh you get, get 200 uh total max ap so that'll be your total max every single day Ways to recover it, natural recovery. AP recovers by one every three minutes. If AP has reached the upper limit, it will not recover. So do not cap your HP, guys. Make sure you get it, use it, and let it recover naturally. It takes approximately 10 hours to replenish 200 AP. Keep that in mind. Another way to also obviously recover it is with AP packs. A special item that recovers AP. There is no limit to the number of items can be used, but you cannot recover more than 999. That is the cap, guys. Do not try to go over that. You are wasting at that point. Recover with Kaiju. The number of beads consumed increases depending on the number of times. Six times or more gets expensive and 30 times max. So this will actually use your cubes. Be careful of that, okay? Um, Ja, ja, you, uh, Yuga walk AP is recovered every hour you cannot store more than uh, storage limit of Yuga in the early stage try to collect more often AP can go beyond limit that's beyond your limit right again 9, 999 is the limit though I can't go above that and then of course ranking up will give you more AP all right, what is AP used for? So simply, what is your stamina used for? Essentially everything. So story quest allows you to unlock more modes and get a lot of mission rewards from it. 
uh, event quest allows you to unlock more modes. You can get a lot of mission rewards from it. You get a lot of curse items, training light, memory light, and JP currency, and other special materials. Enhancement curse item quest. Do these instead of if you struggle with story mode to level up and rank up your characters, of course. That makes it a lot easier. How do I get notification when AP is full? Just go to menu, options, notification. Turn on full AP notifications. That will give you guys what you need. All right, JP currency. What is JP currency? You will need it whenever you're trying to level up your characters or memories, as well as ranking up character grades. Essentially, this is your EXP for your characters. Uh, how to earn JP currency? Mainly, uh, JP acquisition quest, purchasing pack with Kaiju, main quest rewards, event rewards, mission rewards, login bonuses, you go walk and get it at the exchange. So this is going to be your main currency for leveling up your characters. Very important to note that, okay? What is Kaiju? That is your gotcha currency. Those are the cubes that we're currently getting in the event. If you have not been doing the event, guys, there is an event going on right now. If you go to the Jujutsu Kaisen uh, website right here, you guys can see the event is currently happening. Um, one sec here. You're right here, right? The black There's a black flash in the early gotcha. These cubes right over here is what they're referring to. So if I start, you guys see my backpack. I have a lot of these cubes right here. This is what they're referring to as cubes. This is the gotcha currency that you'll get in the game in order to do your summoning. Okay, so very important. So how do you earn these? Obtain with login bonuses, beginner mission clear rewards, mission rewards, quest rewards, event rewards, character mission rewards, purchased at Ka Kaiju Shop, and present from the publishers, essentially like gifts in the mail right uh log in for the first week of playing to get 300 kaiju every day you also get 1000 kaiju just by setting up a support character from the beginner mission from other rewards make sure to look for exclamation marks which means you might have kaiju you can claim so what is the difference between uh, paid kaiju and normal kaiju well you'll see paid kaiju has a little icon here and paid kaiju can also be used for limited characters as well as limited banners that come out so make sure if you are going to be a pay to uh, pay to win player you'll notice that pay to free player or free to play players you might notice that there is a difference between the two when doing gotcha for other banners are there not limited paid uh there are not limited to paid kaiju free kaiju will always be used first before paid kaiju just so you guys are aware so how do you make a purchase so you can do purchases this way obviously It'll be different. It'll be through the App Store, obviously. Um, when you do it through... Um Sorry, let me turn the music off. When you do it through your your global version, but here there's a different way to doing it. So if you, in case you want to make any purchases, guys, check out this section. Okay, um, how to get Japan iTunes and Google Play? Again, I'm not gonna I'm gonna bypass that. You guys can watch this yourself in case you feel like doing that. Okay, so there you guys go. So beginner missions. This is what you're going to do at the very start when you play the game. This is going to be the thing that's going to give you the best amount of rewards. So how long does the beginner mission last? Beginner missions release every day from day one to day seven with events that appear periodic and is unlimited there is no hurry in completing all the missions and the missions are specific to the tasks that are available to you in those days okay so make sure you get those tasks done the re what rewards do you get you get kaiju training light memory light jp cursed items if you complete all the missions each day you also get an ssr memory visit uh fukuyaka and you will also you will get multiple copies and this will allow you to awaken it it's a solid ssr memory that regenerates units health when used if you complete all seven days you'll also get an ssr character confirm ticket which you can use on the gotcha screen to get a free SSR. So that is an easy way to get a free SSR. So make sure you do that, guys. These are all the missions that are currently available in the game. In case you play the JP version and you are looking to go through each one of these, this will give you a breakdown of what you need to do to get them done so you don't have to use a translator, okay? Uh, presents. How often do presents last? Presents last long for one month before expiring. These are the things that will drop in your mail. How do I get presents? Suze Map is, is pretty generous with freebies and will give out Kaiju, gotcha tickets, AP pack from uh, for maintenance for apologies, and reaching certain milestones. Make sure to check the present if they're available. Missions. These are your dailies, weeklies, monthlies, etc. These are the three types of missions. Daily general events. Daily missions reset at 12 a.m. JP time. General missions can be completed once. Event missions is always available during event periods. What daily missions should I try to complete try to complete the consume 200 ap daily missions and it gives you 30 kaiju so very important one uh you you go walk you guys walk sorry it is a system where you get ap jp training light and memory light over time you unlock more you guys that collect different things as you level up your i'm sorry if i'm saying this wrong by the way guys uh, as you level your rank reach player eight will unlock all four of them how many can you collect as players rank up the you guys will level up uh, eventually reaching max level at max level their collection rate and storage limit is also shown below so you guys can see they actually collect loot for you as you play the game right this is for jp this is for ap this is for training lights and this is for light of fantasy um important 
<laughs> get these things up. They're essentially your AFK idle stuff, okay? How long does it take for you to reach maximum storage limit? It takes, uh, it, uh, a Yuga's max level, it takes Cassie three days and the other Yuga seven days. So there you guys go, okay? So this is, you can put a notification on to have that running as well too. And then of course, there's the exchange office here where you can change certain, uh, items for or certain tokens and currencies for specific items that you're looking for so there's investigation medals do, uh, domain investigations cursed items etc right so you can go through this list and kind of see what's available for you to exchange there's of course a pity system and the way the pity system works i believe is you can exchange uh tokens for specific cards in that pity but we'll go through that as well to make sure that i'm correct when i say that so you guys can see here quite a few things to exchange how does cursed item exchange work you can convert a lower grade fetish to one level higher grade the exchange rate is five to one which is harsh but if you use it when you need a little bit you can save it can save you some ap okay so go through this to see if you guys need this stuff and try to you know try to make sense of it if it's something that you want to learn right away all right so what should i try to exchange make sure you exchange the domain investigation coins for free gacha tickets every month before it resets since the ssr character fodder is a one-time only exchange you can exchange it later you can use your phantom metal to exchange hanami and gojo or Ju uh, jugo sorry jugo multiple times and awaken them both uh both of them are decent characters so there you guys go i think they're both S rank characters, not SS, but S rank, okay? Enhancing team setup. How to enhance my characters? So characters get stronger by the following methods. Uh, regular leveling up using training light, grade up by using cursed items and JP, awaken by giving it a duplicate character or a fodder, uh, character rank up by reaching milestones with certain characters. How do you enhance your memory? Uh, memories are the second part they're called memory bits i believe uh, or recollection bits in the english version how to enhance my memory characters get stronger by the following methods regular leveling up using memory light and awaken by giving it duplicates okay how to disintegrate extra characters and memories make sure to uncheck this or else it will show you it will not show you extra copies of characters or memories that can be used to awaken it is generally a good idea to keep ssr characters and memories and disintegrate extra sr characters and memories by disintegrating you will have proof of soul fragments and proof of memory you can use them in exchange and office to get ssr characters and ssr memory fodder which can be used to awaken your characters and memories instead so that's that's a very important part guys okay so make sure you follow that now how to set up your team so next up how does team compositions work so first off you get up to four characters that you can have on the screen at one time so when you go into the mission screen you can pick up the four characters or you can just create them in the character select screen uh four characters you can choose between tanks support all dps it's up to you how you want to do it uh, and then of course you have two supporting characters that you can choose after that so when one character dies a supporting character comes in one of the other supporting characters can also be a friend so if you have good friends who have elite like for example you have a lot of whales who are on your team and you have struggles with a lot of these chapters you can always bring in a friend and have them pretty much dominate the entire place okay and that is what a support character is you guys can see here however there's a limit of three per day uh, both you and your friend get friend points when you use them you also get 20 friend points for mutual follows and 10 friend points if there are people who just you pick randomly because you know they have strong characters a cap of 200 points per day there's also stages where you're not allowed to use support characters so keep that in mind okay so that's how you do it here are the different kinds of character roles in the game there's an attack type there's a uh, de defense type the reinforcement type a weak type obstruction type and a recovery type okay so each character has different roles and different focus on the type of attack and buffs they do make sure to check the details of the character skills and the type to form a team with proper synergy big question are SSR characters better than SR characters? In general, yes. SSR characters usually have better skills, ultimates, and base stats. However, there are some SR characters that have very useful skills and are relevant for content, especially difficult content. Also, if an SR character is able to limit break three times, its base stats will then reach the base stat of an SSR character without any limit breaks. Keep that in mind, okay? Each memory buff has different types of skills. Make sure the physical buff memory is used on physical attackers. Jujutsu buff memory is used on jujutsu attackers. And some types have taijutsu. Uh, and then also have flat damage synergies and ultimate recharges. Again, please check the memory of the skills. You guys can see them down here. And see who they affect most and who they should be used with. Okay, so memory, again, is called recollection bits. So keep that in mind. So that's how you do it, okay? Uh, what other setup tools are, are there? The one on the left is auto setup, which will choose the highest stack characters for you the one on the right will rearrange the position of the characters for you so you can choose either of those buttons that will also be applied of course uh in your in the global version as well too where can you find the power of the team right up here you guys can see the power this shows how much power your team has it's calculated based on all characters and memories it's an indicator of how likely you can pass at stage keep in mind the higher the stage the higher power the more likely you're going to lose if you're lower power 
uh, synergy, team compositions all help, but you also have to be very, very careful of the actual stages, combat power in case it is way above yours. Sometimes your your the opponent will do too much damage and one shot you. Sometimes you'll do no damage to the opponent and you lose turns. Okay, so keep that in mind. Very, very important. Okay, uh, how to start a battle once you're all set? Just click the red button and off you go. Here are the different menus. Okay, what is an album? You can access past episodes from both main story and event stories easily on the album. There may be also side stories that you can read and get kaiju. So make sure you check that out. Easy way to get yourself some some cubes essentially to to do some some gotcha summoning. Obviously, right? Okay, here's the rate for SSRs. On the basic scale is 2.5% and rate memory is 5%. Uh, which banner should you pull on when it, when you first get a chance? All gotcha banners will be given both characters and memories. There are usually three types. The SSR guarantee banner right there, limited time banner right there, and then the regular banner. SSR guarantee banners can only be pulled by using SSR guarantee tickets or 3,000 paid kaiju once only. You will roll 10 times and your 10th slot will be guaranteed SSR character, memory depending on which banner you are rolling. Uh, limited time banners can be pulled by using both paid and free kaiju. The chance of feature getting a featured character and memory will be approximately three times higher than the others. You get one gotcha point after one roll and after getting 250 gotcha points, you can exchange for that featured character at the exchange center during that period. Limited gotchas do not carry over no pity carryover guys they will expire and turn into 1000 jp for one gotcha point so make sure you use them regular banner can be pulled by using both paid and free you get one gotcha point same scenario there is no time limit for regular banners as regular gotcha points the roster of the character may expand in the future they may add more to it so you guys can see here very different kinds of banners so t uh, tldr roll regular banner unless you really really want a chance of getting the limited time character all right how to re-roll in case you want to do it, all right? If you're not happy with the summons, return to the title screen. Open the top right menu, select the bottom right option. This will erase your account. Make your new account, open the game, and you won't even need to repeat the tutorial. There you guys go. Remember, you have one SSR ticket with infinite re-roll on an SSR character from the regular roster. Very, very easy to do, okay? So that's how you do it. Now, what is character rank? Character rank is one of the ways that allows you to increase your character stats and receive rewards such as titles, kaiju, voice lines, etc. Essentially, it's similar to bonds and games. As you use the character more, the character ranks will eventually go up, and you probably don't have to worry about leveling it on purpose. How do you level it? So, in case you want to go above and beyond, uh, you can increase character rank by increasing character level, grade level, skill level, awakening, using the character to carry our cursed item collections, domain inst investigations, and dispatches. Please note that collecting cursed items will not count towards the character rank progression if you skip it. It's a big one. Don't skip it. All right. What is quests in general? There are a couple different types of quests, story quests, curse quests, etc. Where can I see enemies and rewards? You guys can see what the rewards are down here when you see the enemy screen when you're fighting them. What is a challenge mission? These are extra missions within the challenge. By clearing them, you will get extra rewards by doing X amount of things. No casualties, beat by X amount of rounds, finish this boss by an, by an ultimate, etc. Right? So watch those three. You'll be able to get them on the, on the regular side. Where can I find recommended power and typings? Right over here. This will tell you what the best power is right in the bottom, and this will tell you what the Power is and this is how much AP required to do the actual boss. So what quest should you prioritize in doing? Main quest and event quest first. Main quest because you get unlocked game systems and content. Event quest as well because you get a lot of freebies that help you progress in the game. So make sure you are following this guys. Very very important and this is what you'll unlock as you play through the story mode, okay? What if I cannot pass the main quest? What if you're stuck? Strengthen your character's memories. Make sure all possible ways of enhancing characters are tried. Try a different team combination and strategies. And sometimes you have to take your time and gather the enhanced materials before you can move on, okay? So very important. It's remember, every gotcha, guys, is a marathon, never a race. You're never going to get every, anywhere fast unless you pay through everything, and that's going to cost you an arm and a leg. So make sure you're spending responsibly, okay? Here are some other things you can look at is what is a cursed item, etc. What are the rules for domain investigation? So you can check out all of these extra information on here. I'll, I'll, I'll put this in the link below so you guys can check all of this. I think a lot of these are simple to see, but I want to move on to the battle system and how you play the game. Tap on the target to select it. You have a yellow lock on to, uh, icon when you, whenever you select the target. Very simple. Click on the target. It goes to them. Super, super intuitive. Super easy to follow, right? From the top to the bottom, basic skill, skill one and skill two. All right, you guys can see that. What is Jiu-Jitsu energy? That's mana. That's your blue mana. You see there, you recover. Um, Jiu-Jitsu energy will recover by 10 for every turn. 
And then what is the ultimate skill in Link, Link's uh, ultimate? All the way to the bottom is the ultimate skill. Each character has their own unique character ultimate. A full animated scene will be played out when activated. When two ultimate skills are activated in the same turn, a Link ultimate will be activated as well, where two different people pair up and do their own ultimate after the fact they've done their, their their skills okay so very important and what is a memory skill on top of the skill is a memory skill you can toggle it on and off and activate it all memory skills are different for example some will buff the damage of your next attack some will increase your mana etc so that's going to happen from your your memory bits or your recollection bits okay uh so how does work and turn how does a turn and work order follow ally and enemies will take turns following straightforward allies turn enemy turn ally turn enemy turn when it is your turn you'll choose a command for all your characters you can select commands as long as you have not pressed the uh, start button simply by pressing the character icon going back to the character command decisions and choosing what you want so the order of actions after selection is basically from left to right but if the selected action includes a buff ultimate link buff and link ultimate they will always go first so remember that okay so for example one and two do select normal attacks three and four select buffs the order will be three and four first for the buffs and then one and Two, which is actually very smart but if you do uh two and four are ultimate skills and one and three are actions one and two will go first and then four and three will go next okay so very important to remember that this is great for people to understand how the game works and how the battle system and turns work as well too all right so make sure you've done that you click the little icon it goes there what is black flash black flash is a hidden element that can be triggered by skills and ultimates as well as characters that can canonically black flash in the show nanami toto itadori uh, kogisaki gojo it increases your damage significantly but only occurs under a low probability it is calculated separately from critical so this is something a whole new Black Flash is a whole new thing outside of critical and critical damage, okay? When Black Flash is activated, there will be black lightning effects that come with it. You will also enter Black uh, Flash right up. Stay for three turns. After successfully triggering it once, increases your chance of getting Black Flash. Now, you can practice, practice this right now in the event tab that's going on, so make sure you do that. That is part of the early gotcha event going on, uh, so you can do that. What is Domain Expansions? Some characters have their ultimate skills as Domain Expansions, similar to the anime. Domain Expansion has the following effects. Ignore attack nullification, adding attack hit effects, ultimate gauge rise disable, the effect of area expansion is only for the user, Jujutsu mana will drop to zero after effect ends, okay? What can you do against domain expansions? Uh, domain expansion is not permanent, has a six fixed amount of turns, so the only countermeasure is just let the turns go. That's essentially it, okay? So that's this is your health. This is the break bar, so you want to make sure you break an opponent. They, they're stunned afterwards. They have an ultimate right here, these little, little icons before they can do their ultimate. And these are the typings, okay? These are important. So this is enemy weakness. So red is strong against green. Green is strong against uh, red, which is weird. Uh, yellow and blue, blue and yellow. So uh, there are four types of... So illusion, shadow, night, and line. For characters and enemies, they take increased damage from effective typings uh, and decreased damage from effective typings. Try to bring characters of enemy weaknesses and avoid characters that will be weak. Okay, so very important. You guys can see during the battle what they are right here on top, and then you can respond accordingly based on what you are. All right? So that's how that works. Now, these are some of the buffs you can get. Physical up, jujitsu up, uh, damage up, defense up. So these are all the various different buffs and icons. So if you want to know what you're looking at in the game, this is where you want to go for sure. So make sure you check this out. And there's also debuffs as well. Okay, so there's the buff versions right there and the debuff versions right there as well too. Um, can change in status be stacked? Yes, they can. For example, if you apply a skill that increases damage by 75% twice, the damage that will actually be additive give you 150%. Okay, uh, stacking buffs also consider the same strategy. Keep that in mind. All right, so there you guys go. A lot of things here for you guys to see. There's also a new pity system, uh, which new gotcha point system effective September 19, 2024. Introducing gotcha point ca card, which is carryover system. Gotcha point cards, 20 gotcha points, 10, 10 gotcha point cards. 100. Uh, so I don't know how all this means, but I guess there is a new system in place. So there you guys go. I will pin this in the uh, in the description of the video. Big, big shout out to these guys for creating this amazing, amazing starter guide. Hope this helped you guys understand the game a little bit more. If you guys want to play, check out the VPN. Check out the links that they have provided and go start playing. November 7th, Global does drop. We'll be doing a lot more guides then. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys in the next video.